let's go ahead and do a tattoo tutorial. Um, switch it over to the board here. And Manu's going to show us uh, Tiki right here. All right. So you got some guidelines? Yeah, so I got some guidelines so that everyone can figure out where is the eyes, where is the nose, where is the mouth. Okay. So basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, so you draw a middle axe right in the middle of the face so that the symmetry is going to be nice. And then you're going to draw two rounds for the eyes. Dang. Now, now let's take it back to the guidelines real quick. How yep. did you, how do you separate it? How do you divide up those those lines? Um like I pretty much do two lines and then like this one and this one. Yeah. And in the middle I just uh place an X. A center. Yeah, to have a the middle of the the rounds. Okay. And I know that the eyes and the nose are aligned. Mm -hmm. Check. That's important because I learned that from Suwane a long time ago. Yep. But before that, I never did that. I didn't align the eye and the nose. So, you know, that's that's a good tip right there. So everything yeah. was crooked? Yeah. No, I just dropped it. Oh. Just, you know, the <laughs> nose was dropped a little farther down. But oh. yeah. so, so that's good to know. Yeah. And then the, and then the lips. Uh, the eyes are usually round, but sometimes a little bit, uh, how would you say? Like the seed shape. Okay. You know, on the side. So you have this, and then the mouth uh, is pretty much from the middle of the eye. Uh, good oh, guideline, good cool. guideline. Yep, middle of the eye. Yep, and just under the nose, like ours. <laughs> 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 so, and then after there's not much uh, other guidelines that you need to know. It's just pretty much, uh, pretty much it. At the end, you need to just uh, add the eyes to be a little bit thicker like here and here and then the eye of the tiki is always the tiki is always in a peaceful um, position with his eyes like almost closed mm -hmm. so the eyes are pretty much pretty much like that all the time now there's there's different variations of eyes so let's yep. say like for example you can do like like this and then put another symbol here oh, okay it's gonna be like maybe a poka mm -hmm. something like that you know yeah right and then you need the ears too because he needs to listen everything <laughs> he's here at all yep all right so you have the the ears right there and then at the end you're just gonna need to draw his uh how do you say eyebrows mm -hmm. here boom yep and his jaw which is here from the ears to the mouth and getting down a little bit so that you have the chin and then usually the tiki has his tongue uh, between his lips so you usually see the lips over there sorry it's a bit uh, messy but no I get <laughs> it it's hard um, yep. on this board <laughs> so you have the lips over there and then you have the little tongue just uh, between the lips like yeah. just a line like that huh? Sticking it out a little bit. Yep. And then you can fill it out. And it's making a ticket. And sometimes sometimes it's even dropped down with arms, right? Arms and legs. Yeah, and something. then after you can do the, the body the body type. Like I'll draw it very fast. Then you have the hands here right on his belly. Pretty much like that. Yep. It's good because you carve this, so you yeah. you definitely can you know, know just create. Yeah, yeah, you can just create it. That's the basics, and then after you can jam it. Like you always have the how do you call that belly button? Pico. Yeah. <laughs> belly button. <laughs> Pico in Hawaii. Yeah, the belly button just uh, in the middle of the of the hands, mm -hmm. and then the nipples. 
Ah, nipples too. It's got it all, all in there. Yeah, yeah. How about the head? Can you finish the top of the head? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's oh, just uh, a, kind of like a frog. The Bobby Ford said E.T. Oh. <laughs> 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 Looks like E.T. I can see it. Something like that, yeah. So most of the time, if you draw the whole body of it, the head of the tiki is always two-thirds of the whole body. Okay, so good that to know, makes right it, there. That makes it a big, big head. Yeah. Two-thirds of the body. Two-thirds. Is there a reason for that, or...? I guess brains or yeah I don't know maybe they had big heads over there back in the day I don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting when you look yeah. at all the tiki's and yep. and oh man so that one is the Marquesian one huh? Marquesian one yeah and then you have uh, differences in all the islands well like, is there a difference between a Marquesian tiki and a Tahitian tiki uh, yeah in Tahiti it's actually not called a tiki it's called a tii tii without yeah. the k yeah tii the yeah te and uh, yeah it's way different well could could you show what the look what it looks like um yeah i could probably uh, i could try it's to perfect like right there yeah yeah right there so if i remember good from the art school so the eyes are pretty much like that and then you have a square nose it's kind of different, yeah. And even uh, the shape of the body is way different than the Marquesian one. Like the Tahitian one is standing up. Okay. The Marquesian one is almost, uh, he's not sitting, but almost like he's, and he has he, this big belly. The Marquesian one mm -hmm. has this big belly and his hand on the side of the belly. The Tahitian one has a flat, uh, flat back. He's standing up. He has his his chin way upper than the Marquesian one. Yeah. The Marquesian one has the the chin right in the in the belly. Mm -hmm. And what can I say? What else? Even the eyes, the face, the lips, everything's different. And then you have differences in all the islands. Like there's always yeah, because the the Hawaiian tiki is way different. Yeah. It looks way different. There's a bunch of tikis actually. We, we today we call that tiki all of them right right but they have names like you have oh, you have ku in hawaii lono, yeah you have romo lono you have uh, tiki which is actually the first human oh, okay in the story yeah uh you have man you have a bunch of them you have like uh ruahatu which is the ocean god lots of them so can you explain uh you know generally while tattooing what a tiki could represent yeah so the the tiki in the marquises in the marquises islands is uh the first uh human that was born from a half god half human woman oh, okay and that's a legend or yeah. the story yeah yeah and uh you have the same legend almost the same uh, story in the in new zealand with uh, with their hey tiki okay it's pretty much the same uh i would like to find out with hawaii and all those other islands right right because it's pretty interesting too and most of the time the tiki uh th so there's two sides of the tiki you have the the tiki that brings protection for the family and everything and you have those ancient tikis that were that were on the mare so on the uh, ceremony uh, temples, right? Old temples, which uh, were made for having the gods to come inside the tiki. So it's more like spirit thing, you know? Right. So kind of overseeing or just there to yeah give that blessing or mm -hmm. okay. Yep, yep. 